Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Blog. And here we are today with an unboxing episode, uh, but I already know what's in this box. And based on the title of this episode, you probably know what's in this box already. So we won't build any mystery to this. Um, I did already start to open it uh, because I already did this like my second take on this. Because as I started to pull the tape back, Something crashed in the living room. Something fell off. Some books fell off a shelf in there. Uh, so it's just horrible timing. <laughs> so I already had this ripped open a little bit. Um, so we'll go ahead and open up the rest of this and check out these two new toys that you can get right now as of me recording this video in June of 2021. You can find these toys on the shop at you know, Disney.com website. So pick them up there. Or if you have a Disney store in your local mall or local area, or if you live near Orlando or Los Angeles or Anaheim, I mean, uh, you could probably go to those stores there and find these if they have them in stock. So uh, you know, these are obviously based off our two main symbiotes that are gonna be in a big movie coming out later this year. So we have Carnage, and I'll have some cutaway close-ups of these figures too. Uh, so we have Carnage as one figure, and then we also have a new version of Venom, which is like, he's like an injection Venom with the Venom the Madness, you know, tentacles and, you know, pieces coming off him. I'll have a shot of the back where it has Carnage and Venom on there. Um, it's funny because the Venom on this one is different. Uh, it looks th similar, but uh, but doesn't have all the heads on it, and this one does have all the heads. So um, I have the other Venom figure, um, but and so I'll do a cutaway of all of my toy box figures that I have. I don't have many. When this series first came out, I actually bought like the first 10 figures in the series, and then I ended up selling them uh, because I needed extra money to pay for my move and stuff to come out here uh, to Florida. So I ended up selling those 10 figures um, to somebody. Uh, so I gave them a good home for sure. But now they're up to figure like 28 with this Venom and 27 with Carnage. Uh, so, uh, so, and I know a lot of people are looking for those original figures, which was like Hulk and Iron Man and all those characters. Uh, but I always like these designs because they're based off of the uh, Disney Infinite video game or Infinity video game. And that was a really fun game. I used to play that when it came out. Um, I actually bought it when the Marvel characters came out because I thought you could like be Venom and run around an area where there's like Mickey and Donald and Goofy and all of them and I thought you could eat them <laughs> but of course you know Disney didn't you know, let the game go that far so uh, so you could never really do that so you had to just complete missions and and like challenges and stuff like that but it was still cool and I always loved the designs of how they did these characters uh, but Carnage was never in the game uh, so that's what's cool about these toy box figures is now you get to see that amazing art style uh, used on characters that were never even in the game uh, and the reason I had to get these you know was because I was like look it's Venom and Carnage, but it's a Disney-created Carnage. This is a toy made by Disney to fit into the Disney aesthetic, and there's something about that that I just really love, because we all know Carnage as a serial killer. He's a monster. Uh, so whenever Disney does a Disneyfied version of him, I think that's pretty cool because it's like it's Disney trying to go ah oh, he you know this version's not so bad you know he's he's a villain but he's not like a serial killer uh, but it's like yeah but that's who Carnage is he's a serial killer so basically we got a Disney cr a toy of a serial killer <laughs> so when I saw that I was like that's too awesome and what I'll do is I'll unbox them and I'll have some footage up on screen there of what they look like outside of the box so you can see kind of close up and, and better images you know closer images of them uh, so they're not you're seeing you're not seeing them from a distance you know from where I'm recording this and uh, and yeah, I hope you guys like the footage. I mean, these figures are awesome. They're top notch. Um, and, and like I said, they match the aesthetic of the game very closely. And I really like that. So now we get to see a toy box version of Carnage. And I have already a previous Venom that was released and a Wolverine because I wanted someone to fight Venom and I didn't want to get Spider-Man. I wanted him to fight someone other than Spider-Man. So I got Wolverine because I'm a big X-Men guy. Uh, but this Venom, I really love. Like the Carnage is really cool. I love the his arm with the, the blade on it and stuff is really great. But the Venom is really cool because it, it's more closer to my favorite version of Venom. Uh, you know, people always say, like, who's your favorite Venom? Obviously, Eddie Brock is my favorite host for the symbiote. But uh, as far as my favorite look for Venom, it's always going to be Venom the Madness. I love the, you know, the size, the art, uh, you know, uh, by Kelly Jones and the size of Venom in that book. And then all the extra heads coming off of him and whispering stuff to him and kind of driving him crazy and driving him mad. And I really like that. I just thought that was a really cool take on Venom and him fighting Juggernaut of all characters in that story was also very cool uh, to, you know, to see those two characters collide and you can see Venom, you know, enhanced by this, you know, creepy stuff he found in the sewers, uh, this chemical that uh, you know started to drive the symbiote a little crazy and stuff and give it extra voices and I always love that so this design of them with the extra tentacles is cool and then obviously you can also put the slime in them and you can push as you can see in the footage there 
you'll see uh, you know the syringe getting pushed into his back and it forces the, the slime out and out through his mouth and everything and uh, yeah it just looks awesome <laughs> it's so cool uh, so these figures like I said you can get them now at shopdisney.com and that's $12.99 for the Carnage figure. If you find uh, Carnage, it'll be $12.99. You can get them on the website. I, I suggest you do that sooner than later because I think uh, Carnage has already sold out once and they had to restock them. So chances are, you know, as we get closer to the movie, Carnage will probably continue to sell out. Um, and then also Venom is only a few dollars more, $2 more, in fact, at $14.99. And you get a really bulky, cool figure. You get the slime and you get the two syringe type things to push into his back to help that slime come out. So that's very cool. Not a bad deal. So for like 30 bucks, you can get both these figures. Uh, I think you can get free shipping on uh, on the Shop Disney if you go over a certain price. So if you want to throw in another character that they have of a you know toy box version, you can add that on and get free shipping. Um, so they have a lot of good promotions. So go check that out and pick these toys up today. Uh, you know, they're awesome. And uh, I want to know what you think. So you obviously, you know, I'm a fan of these. But let me know uh, what you think down in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you all in the future. Peace.